What I'm working on today is a little 1500 watt portable heater with a little fake fireplace. It's got some lights in there to kind of turn around to make it look like a fire. Uh, but what's happening is uh, as soon as you turn it on, and I'll try to demonstrate this, it starts to heat up inside here. Uh, but once it gets to a certain temperature, it kicks out. So I believe, I believe that the fan has just stopped working. Uh, so I'm going to tear this apart and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. So we'll go ahead and turn it on and you'll see what will happen. I'll go ahead and put it on high to speed the process up a little bit. And what will happen is the coils will start to get nice and hot and, and you can actually feel the heat come out. And right now the fan should probably come on but there's like a thermal cutout in there that's going to keep this thing from melting down and it'll actually shut down the whole unit. And there we go. So now it shuts it down for safety and once it's cooled down then it may come back on. But I'm going to go ahead and shut it right down, unplug it and we'll tear this apart. One of the first things we need to do is obviously unplug it, get that out of the way. And uh, on this particular unit, there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws uh, holding this unit in place. So you're going to need to remove those before you can continue on uh, because you're going to take one of these side covers off. So once I take these screws out, I can slide that out. We can get rid of this piece of furniture piece and then have the heater right on the bench so we can work on it. Now that that's out of the way, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to this. The furniture actually takes up a lot of the room. Now on this particular unit, down below here is where that little fireplace is going on where it uh, looks like there's a real fire and the actual heater is on top here. So I'm going to remove this top cover and uh, see if we can find out what the problem is. That's obviously the problem. The fan is just not turning as freely as it should. So we're going to take this apart and clean this all up and that should take care of the problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this motor first. It does not take much to uh, get these from stop from working because uh, all the cat hair and so forth. All right, let's see what we got going on there. Looks pretty clean. I cleaned this up as much as I could, so I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a little of this uh, white lithium grease, and I'm gonna put a little on each end here, and uh, it's, it's turning a lot better than it was before, but I think I'll put a little bit of grease down in there and a little bit here on the end of this motor right in here uh, and then we'll put it back together and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that turns a whole lot better. Now we'll just go ahead and uh, put it back together here. Now let's go ahead and uh, put this thing back together. Now where this is not in the furniture, once we put the cover on here, I'm just gonna put a couple of screws on here and I'm gonna test it. So there we go. I'll put a couple of screws in there to hold it tight. I'll plug it in and we'll give it a quick test.
There we go. Working like a champ. A quick fix. I'm not sure if it's a permanent fix, but it is working. Fantastic. Go ahead and shut it off. It will go down in a cool down cycle here. We'll put this back in the furniture after I put the rest of the screws on. Not a bad little fix, a little lithium grease on the motor, and there was, I think it was just the dust that built up on the motor itself. And as I showed you, I put a little lithium grease in there, and it should be all set. Uh, now I know right where to go next time this uh, gives me a problem. So I hope this helps you with your problem, and uh, thanks an awful lot for watching.